the Chromebooks are being provided to students in attractive, always-on cases. The computer should always be kept in the case, which opens fully, to provide full access to the device and its ports. When students are done with the Chromebook, they just zip up the case and go. The Chromebook's battery life is longer than a school day, but it should be recharged each night at home. That way the device will be ready for use throughout the next school day. A Chromebook stores most information up in the cloud, using the student's Google Drive and other apps. It uses Wi-Fi to connect to the Internet. If they don't have Wi-Fi at home, students could make use of community services, such as the Westside Community Center, Boys and Girl Club, and so forth. They can also use Wi-Fi at the public library and various restaurants and businesses. But we'll also be training our teachers on how to offer assignments using Google Docs. This is because a student can download a Google Docs assignment while still at school, and later they can edit and complete the assignment even if they're completely offline. They can submit the assignment the next school day when they're back on Wi-Fi. A critical tool for students and teachers to get the most out of the Chromebooks will be the district's Canvas Learning Management System. Let's hear from some BHS students who used Canvas. My favorite thing about Canvas is basically how easy it is to stay in touch with our teachers. On Canvas, you're allowed to see announcements that your teachers put up every day. So you just come into class, you open that day's announcement, you look at what you're supposed to do, and you really, just get started. There's a lot more time for you being able to ask your teacher questions because you can just read what you're supposed to do, and then on top of anything else, you can just go ask questions. My favorite thing about Canvas is that I can see dates on everything that's assigned, so I don't have to wonder, well, was I absent that day? I can just go to the day and see everything and still stay on task. My favorite thing about Canvas is how we got, after we took a test or turned in an assignment, you got an immediate grade. But is a classroom full of Chromebooks really best for students? Let's hear what Jen Ward found out from her year of using Chromebooks in the classroom. The th nice thing about Chromebooks is flexibility. They offer a new opportunity, an opportunity where a lot of kids learn in that particular way the best. They're on digital media all the time. That's where they're used to reading. That's where they're used to writing. That's where they're used to creating. And that's, for 90% of my students, that is exactly what they did. They accessed, they created, they learned, they grew right on the Chromebook. But there was a small, small percentage of students who really needed that physical pen and paper sometimes. And as a teacher, that's exactly what we afforded them. This is not a limitation, this is just an opportunity. And it's another opportunity to access the most amount of kids we can. And for me, it's just, it was really a game changer in my classroom. So, on occasion, students, even the best intentioned students, drop a Chromebook. <laughs> and, and that happens. Uh, Chromebooks are much more durable than they seem like they are. Um, accidents do happen, and, and the nice thing about that is well-intentioned students don't drop Chromebooks, but occasionally oops has happened. And when that does happen, we have people here at school who can fix that Chromebook for us and get it back in, in working order very quickly. Parents are urged to consider buying the insurance plan. For $30 cash, or even less if paying with a credit or debit card, you'll get full coverage for a first incident and half coverage for a second incident during the school year. We're excited to bring you this new learning opportunity. After you've watched the video and received your ID card, please enter the next room to begin the paperwork to check out your Chromebook.